Hello, Paul is the best for UK here and welcome to today's Game of Day video. Now today's game is arcade coin-up conversion, Cisco Heat, 1991 Jolico. So yeah, this is produced by iSoftware and this is Cisco Heat, the ZX Spectrum version. Did you ever play this in the arcades back in the day? I didn't unfortunately, but I have played it on MAME emulator since. But yet this is the uh, Spectrum conversion, so let's have a look at this one. I think this was only a 1 to 8 release. Okay, so, okay, as you can see, we are proceeding to Fisherman's Wharf, code red. So the, uh, the traffic lights go to green. Here we go. So I am the red police car, and we are now on the Golden Gate Bridge. Okay, it's a bit, uh, it's quite a bit more primitive than the, uh, uh, arcade machine. Let's change the high gear here. Whoa, I can't see where I'm going. There's too much fog. Okay, so it has got the hills and stuff, so that's nice to see. It's sort of like in a wireframe perspective on the Spectrum version. I think some of the other home computer ports wasn't wireframe, but this version is. They're really trying their best here to make use of what we've got to offer on the Spectrum. Okay, let's try and get to low gear again. Yep. High gear. Well, I am seventh place. You can see my speed on the top right. Okay, change back to high. So yeah, the graphic it does run at an okay uh, frame rate. Not too bad. I mean, they have tried the best here for what they could do. I think uh, the game would have benefited with a bit more colour. Um, I don't know if uh, limitations of Spectrum would prevent that, but I think the Spectrum is quite capable of doing a bit more colour. Oh, you fuck! I think I'm, I think I'm out of time. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm still going. Why did I slow down then? Okay, let's speed up now. So we're cruising along the highway here. Yeah? Okay. Oh, shit! Oh, you fuck! I was supposed to turn around at them corners, but uh, I didn't quite make it there. Right, going really fast now. So it's nice to see that the game's got music whilst in gameplay. And there's quite a lot of driving games on the Spectrum that run a lot slower than this. So that's quite uh, quite impressive to see on this one. Right, okay, let's proceed on. We're booting along here. Oh, we just went into someone's car. Right, okay, let's proceed on. Graphics are nice, uh, not like I said earlier, not too much colour, but um, there's not nice detail in them. It's sort of like like I said earlier as well, it's sort of like a wireframe perspective. The, the horizon looks nice and the trees look okay. There's like a bit of detail in the bushes on the side of the road, etc. Um, the police cars don't have much colour. I mean, my car's red and the rest of them are black, uh, the other cars. I wonder if it would have benefited from... Uh... Ooh, game over. I wonder if it would have benefited from a, a blue police car rather than a red one. So let's give this another go. And we end up the video. So yeah, Golden Eight Gate Bridge. Change to high gear. So you've got manual gears of low and high. Quite typical of the day where you had low and high gears on the games. Whoa, steep hill here. The sense of uh, height on the hills is quite impressive for what it is does draw the hills because the game the original coin and machine game is known for having massive hills and they've tried to replicate that on the spectrum and they haven't done such a too bad of a job actually oh you fuck right okay let's proceed on here are oh, you booner so let's keep going Ooh. Right, high gear. Let's try and get as fast as we can. Watch out for this lorry here. Oh, I just w w went into the back of another car. Right, let's turn left here. Onto Bay Street. It tells you the street names, which is quite cool. Right, here we go. The music can be a bit repetitive, but at least it's there. At least it's not just silent, like a lot of games on the Spectrum. But that's like I said, this is a one to eight game, so you probably if if that was a forty eight K version you probably won't get well you won't get the music unlikely. There's only forty eight K of memory for on the spectrum. 
Okay. Watch out for this slot. Ooh, straight over the hill. So yeah, keep going. Playability, it seems quite fun to play. Um, it seems to respond well to controls. Nothing too shabby there. Oh shit. Second place now, so it's is some sort of race. Quite innovative that you've got them corners to turn. Like the flash in it now. You can see like the beach in the background. Who put that buzzer? Right, let's keep going. Ooh, Fisherman's Wharf. Age of Time. Okay, yeah, so that was Cisco Heat. Not too bad of a game, actually. Um, that was the first time I've ever played the Spectrum version. I played the Commodore 64 version and I played it on the uh, arcade machine on an emulator, but I think that's about it. I think I might have played the Amstrad CPC, but never the Spectrum. This is the first time. And I'm going to give the Spectrum version a nice 7 out of 10. Not too bad of a conversion, actually. I'm quite impressed. So uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.